Welcome back, friends, to TV5 News at 9. It's time now for our favorite segment, Education Matters. We are here with Dr. Craig Douglas. Thank you so much for joining us. How Thank are you? you? I'm well. How are you this I'm morning? I'm doing great. Thank great. you, Dr. Douglas. And you're right on time, as <laughs> usual. It is back to school season, friends, and there's really a lot to do before students return to the classroom. So today we're talking about how parents of younger kids can really prepare for the new school year. So Dr. Douglas, there's a lot of paperwork that must be completed, especially for kids going to school for the first time. So what tips do you have for parents to make sure they get everything they need submitted on time? Well, first, it can be overwhelming. Yes. So I would say in context of that, realize everyone does get through the process. So just trust the process okay. and, and keep calm. Yeah. It can seem overwhelming, but it really isn't. It can be handled and managed. The best probably best first step for yes. many parents is to reach out to the school office and just pose the question, what do I need to enroll my child? Yes. And if it's a new enrollee, as you indicated, it could be someone maybe starting school. Right. There may be more first steps than for others that are either transferring or moving up a grade. But nevertheless, reach out and ask the school. Those requirements, Colette, change year to year, yes. oftentimes by mandates from the state of Michigan. I'm not aware of any recent, necessarily any recent changes okay. but it's always good to not assume that you know what is needed but to reach out and find out what is needed that's good I love what you said just patience it really is a virtue so yeah. make sure you stay calm so we know that communication between parents and teachers is key I believe in this to a child's success yeah. now what parents what should they really discuss with the schools before the school year even starts dr. Douglas well another good question to pose is when is orientation Mm. Uh, when can I come yeah. and meet with other teachers and other others that are going to be in my child's classroom, especially early childhood? That's an important piece. Yeah. So you begin to uh, build some relationships and perhaps build some uh, cohort yes. experiences for your child, maybe some play dates even before school. I, I'm just hypothesizing, but the, the limit is, is just not there. I, there are many possibilities that can emerge, perhaps even some ride sharing and things down the road. Hmm. So I would reach out and find out when orientation meetings are. Many times schools will have open houses or meet the teachers nights or curriculum nights. Yeah. Uh, schools call them by different names, but it's basically a chance to throw open the door come in, meet the child's classroom teacher, find out logistics. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can name all them, but things like transportation, lunches, okay. recess, mm -hmm. what other breaks are during the day. Uh, what kind of supplies mm. would be good for my child to have? You know, one that's emerged just recently in the last few years, water bottles. Yes. Kids have their own water bottles, and schools have recommendations on what would be good water bottles for kids to have for, for their breaks and how to label them so that the child knows his or hers from someone else's. These are just things, these are details that emerge from these orientation meetings, these initial meetings. Uh, many schools have suggested classroom lists based upon grade level, That's and right. I would look at that list, and many times it's on the web. You can kind of glean, look for sale items for th things like uh, backpacks or yeah. whatever. Uh, so parents can prepare early. The early preparation, I think, will yield a much calmer opening mm. in most cases. It's sure. Being prepared is such a key. That is yeah. so important. Okay, so kids have been playing outside, staying up late, playing video games, not in that school routine. How do we get our kids back into that routine for school? It's a simple thing, yeah. but very, very challenging yes. because it's, it's human nature for students to uh, resist going to bed earlier, right. especially when it may still be daylight out. And so a gradual adjustment of sleep schedules would be what's recommended. In fact, I heard on, on your broadcast yeah. earlier last week, uh, an expert was talking about that on a recommended number of hours of sleep that's needed. That's gonna vary by the age of the right. child and each child's a little bit unique that way. But I would start adjusting those as soon as possible in increments of maybe even small five, 10 minute increments to get that sleep schedule adjusted. You don't want the child just crash that first week of school. Right. And Colette, I've seen it. I know I've seen have. kids fatigued like at 11 o'clock in the morning and their heads are down on their desk right. because they're just crashed. Yeah. And you want to try and avoid that if you can. Yeah, so that's why Colette and Jake and I'm trying to get you back to 
bed early because they're like now, oh, I can stay up a little bit later. There's no school. But we're starting our routine now to get them adjusted to that going to bed early. Anything else, Dr. Douglas, that you can think of? Well, I think most school offices either open last week or reopening yes. this week. So phone calls to school offices okay. are in order. Even dropping in can be in order, yeah. although with COVID restrictions, mm. even though COVID is being released a little bit, as you reported earlier today, there still are protocols. Just dropping in might be a little bit more of a challenge. I think a, a, a phone call would be a good first step okay. and pose those questions. You know, what, su what supplies are needed? and what kind of paperwork is needed to enroll my child. So everything gets off to a good, smooth start. And I wish everyone a great school year. How yes. exciting to be kind of close to normal again, right? Oh, seriously. Well, Dr. Douglas, I have to give you an A-plus today and two gold stars because you gave some very valuable mm -hmm. tips. Thank you. Thank you we so much. We appreciate you. For more information about today's topic, check out the Lifestyle page at WNEM.com. And do not go anywhere. Matthew is tracking your forecast right after the break.